Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's Story of the Blues. Last minute decision and day off now means I can attend Maidenhead away. It'll be the fifth time we've played Maidenhead. Our current record stands of we've beaten them twice and we've drawn twice. We've both won and drawn at their ground, and they've done the same at Boundary Park. And we're going to this game on the back of a good win away at Sutton United. I'd like to take this moment to pass on my deepest sympathies and condolences to former Oldham player Matt Smith and his family after the death of his four-year-old son, Madison. It's always sad to lose relative and especially at such a young age. Maidenhead are currently 19th in the table and were tipped to struggle at the start of the season. Many like myself have tipped them to go down. But after a slow start, they are currently unbeaten in seven games. So we'll be looking to further improve on that. This recent run of form includes a win away at South End and points against fellow relegation rivals, Boston United and Ebsweet. They also beat Barnet early in the season, so they certainly won't be no pushovers. Last time we played Maidenhead was March way last year and it finished 3-1 win to Oldham. We also drew with them 1-1 last season at Boundary Park. But in our current run of form, I don't see any reason why we have to struggle there tonight. Yes, it'll probably be a hard fought game, but we've got enough firepower in us and enough belief and momentum to go on and win this game. Being a midweek game, I don't anticipate a massive following, but I know there's at least one coach going down and a good number of our southern lads, so there still should be around 300 in attendance from the away support. It's actually ground that we've never lost that yet, so let's hope we can keep that run going, considering there's a few grounds recently that we've won at. But we hadn't won previously, we don't want the opposite effect tonight. Well done to the Oldham youth team who knocked out South Shields in the FA Youth Cup recently. Their, re their reward is a tie at home to Barnsley, but the date is yet to be announced. On the train to Sutton, it was good to talk with Darren Royal. I asked him a couple of questions, put a couple of my points across, talked about the National League Cup amongst other things. Praise them for the work they're doing off behind the scenes. It's nice for Darren to just listen to me and talk to me. Not always are people involved in a football club very approachable, but it's a good little chat. And as I've said, I do see my match days, but the worst one of the match days, you see loads of people talking and always, sometimes you get the same fans pestering people over and over again. And I've always said, at the moment, I've got very few criticisms of the club or any need to worry. So at the same time, Keep the work, good work going on. Yes, there's always room for improvement in all areas. Yes, no one is immune from human criticism, but sometimes it's good to have that chat, especially around about the National League Cup, which I can understand the reasons for all the mentoring it. I'm still not 100% fully behind it, but I can see from their perspective how, why they thought about putting us in to it. Thank you to everyone who's watched the Sutton video and a big shout out to all my new followers. I'm just short of a thousand at the moment. If you like the content, keep enjoying it. As for those who comment with shy comments, tough. Just a bit about Maidenhead's history. So they're called Maidenhead United. They play at York Road in Maidenhead. They're the oldest team to still be playing, occupying the same ground in the country. They were founded in October 1870. The Germans, Peter Griffin, not to be mistaken with a Family Guy character. Alan Devonshire, the once experienced pro, played for a 70 manager. Their honours include National League South Champions 2016-17, Ishmael and Four Cup winners, Four Members Cup winners 1996-97, Creative League Champions on three occasions, Memorial Shield winners, Twice, Spartan League Champions on three occasions, Great Western Summer League Champions 1919-20, West Berkshire League Champions 1902-3, and they've won the Bucks and Burks, Burks and Bucks Senior Cup on many occasions. The first being 18, 94-95, the most recent being 2016-17. to they're playing, they're playing black and white, and they have been in National League now since 2017-18 season. So this is now their sixth season. Here I am now in Maidenhead, head of the 
game, Cotton Cell Centre, although it's full of apartments, there's a sign here, it tells us it's a football club, it's too far. Here in Maidenhead, I'm looking to make it another win. Let's keep the wins coming, let's keep the goals coming, let's climb the table, let's keep some positivity, let's keep the fans in a loud voice singing. We're enjoying this run of games and it's not over with. We should be targeting as far close to the top as we can with the four points behind Barnet now. The league's wide open. Another win tonight and that'll really surge up the table. Maybe they've put a bit of four behind it, but nothing that worries me. We've got enough of the team where we can go out and win this. Come on, hold them. Right, we're north south defi defined. This street is just full of all state agents, literally all around me. But as you can tell by the high rise apartments there, which makes me think this football ground's not got a massive future when it's full of apartments. It's the main head of the oldest team to be at the football ground they've played at for years and not moved ground. Prediction for today's game, please. I think it's going to be another 3-1 Brilliant. Hey, let's have a prediction, please. 3-1 all done. Brilliant, thanks. Prediction, please. <laughs> Can I have a prediction, please. Uh, oh, we're going three new Oldham. No. We're up at Maidenhead on a Tuesday night. It's what dreams are made of. <laughs> Chicken and chips here at Maidenhead tonight. Lovely. Um, yeah. United yeah. the way. Come on, Oldham, let's win this. I reckon we won, if we won ticket, you reckon? To be outright, out, just to demand for the game and all, that was the easy ticket orders we've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fair. Which we've got no issue with. I actually spoke to Dan Moore on the train, I sat and said, when the tickets were on sale, nothing against the price, I just couldn't afford it. But I'll get a half price on Christmas. Go on. Go on. Oh. It's not dropping, is it yet? Stupid goal to concede, very soft. Don't look in the spawn with the metal over the shirt. Back in. Nice touch, he's onside. Drummond's chasing everything here. Yeah, he is. He'll knock him. Well done.
that lines with Fletcher offside, but we're on the back foot at the moment, we need to really attack him, we're so opening up too much of the back, they're pushing us on the break and catching us. Oh! 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 Nice ball in the kitchen. Oh! 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 Back in, Monet, have a shoe! Shoe! Oh! and play well enough the defence a bit too overconfident that sounds exposed two soft goals considering we're back in the game now we can still get this come on home start the second half bro. This would have been a swimming made in a dish straight away, they're going on about it.
there. Win it now. Let's go and win it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Shut up now, aren't you? Get rid. Oh. One challenge. The first, oh, good, good, good place has been on the ball of second half. Right, come on. Closing that. Doing too much time in the bar there. Yes, ref. So, means it will be It's awesome. Move it faster. Go away, go away. It's going to go away. Oh, well done. Oh. oh. Hold on. Yo, then, what do you do? What do you do? Oh. So I'm back home now for Maidenhead. Big thanks to Jez for driving down. The game finished 2 2. It's a game we could have easily won, a game we could have easily lost. Plenty of goals, entertaining game. On another day, we could have scored four or five with the post, with the bar. How Drummond missed that chance, I don't know. Monte scored a great goal, but an early put the goal in the back of his net. I like our defence. It's been one of our advantages to shape up tonight. Were we a little overconfident? We're caught out a bit. I don't think Ogle had a particularly great game for us either. Great to Caprice when he came on. I thought he played really well. I thought Kitchen played all right. I thought Drummond played well. Also, Fondop's best game. I was surprised it was Drummond who went off and not Fondop. I hope he wasn't pulled off for missing that chance. And yeah, that happens in football. Footballers will miss sitters. It's part of the game. But 
Yeah, you could argue two points dropped. These are the games you need to win if you're looking for promotion. But at the same time, before kickoff, would you have took four points from these two away games? Absolutely. Maidenhead, like say, they could have had a third goal. They had one that was ruled out. They seemed to catch the defence. But at one stage in the second half, they couldn't get out of their own half. When we got it to 2-2, I thought, that's it. We're going to go on and win now. But they then seemed to have, they felt they probably could have won it in injury time as well. And every team in this division will drop points. As I said, these have already beaten Barnett this year. Barnett have already dropped points against Weldstone. And it's not going to be just a straight and a walk in the park, as you like to think it would be. Yeah, it was Boston who beat York early on. But I know I put a comment out about him. Someone say it 1 0 down. Oh, we could be watching Champions League. And I put an angry response out. And to be fair, I've heard them comments if we're on a bad run and people say things in the heat at the moment. So whoever the guy was who saw it, it's one of them. But it was just frustrating. Because we I've said we're going into games now actually believing that we can win. And it shows the mentality which the fan base has changed. But first half we let we played two nil on balls. Payne and Conlin. Payne played well on Saturday praising, but it wasn't his best like Conlin though. Just seemed non existent last night again. Lundstrom did play well, but why did he take Lundstrom off first? Is Lundstrom possibly carrying a knock? I thought they were giving Fond up the tough treatment, really kicking him, really. And I think they were open for reaction of him, that open that we'd, he'd get, but sorry, he'd get sent off. Well, he did get, but and it's one of these, he's learned to compose himself. But I said, oh, uh, I just didn't feel it was going to be. Um, Fond up start. Again, I thought Drummond was really good. Probably our best player in the first half. I thought Ragland had a game and another header for him. Shows at least, again, players are not afraid to dive in, that we can get goals from crosses, from corners, from set pieces. That joke that we never score from set pieces. Well, now we are. Sutton, again, weren't at his best, although he's having a good run in his, the team. It's just they seem to exploit him tonight. I, I think the right side gets targeted because we've got Plays plenty of players that can play at centre back. I said Caprice when he come on played really well. He made some good runs. He had a bit of pace to the wing, and I said Kitchen that first half as well. The second balls we didn't win many of them tonight. Either way, Saturday we seem to be winning them all. But again, still positives. We're still in a playoff place. Barnet lost at York and it is a mini, mini league. There's plenty of time to get ourselves back up there, push ourselves on. And the season's not over with. Now, there's more to come. More teams will cause shocks. More teams will drop points. And more teams will probably pick up form as well. Dagenham were winning who we faced on Saturday. I can see the equaliser against Eastley. People say, will we ruin that miss from Drummond at the end of the season? Maybe. Who knows? I think Hudson though needs to be just a bit more from at the moment. I do think, I'm not slating but I think his form has dipped a little bit as he become too com composed with a lack of competition. Norman doesn't seem anywhere near there now. Maloney we've only seen once. Manny did take his goal really well and he wasn't offside as you can see from my video. But it's just, again, on off days now, I'm looking also all goals throw-ins. I did become a bit, I like it, it caused problem, but I did become in just maybe a little bit too predictable. We did lack that little spark tonight in midfield that we had on Saturday, but 15 games in, I'd happily take where we are for now. It's just one of those. Maybe now the players can have that rest these next two days and be fully fresh. For Saturday, people said, should he change the team? Well, no. Why change a winning team? Yeah, there was a few signs a time and six months, the lads, but the amount of games we've played so far, it's going to happen. And we always knew this game was going to be a tough physical game. We knew we were going to have to fight for it, put a bit of graft into it, because these are going to make it harder. Most of their wings have come against teams around the bottom, other than South End, other than Barnet. And they made it out like it was a big game. You could tell by their fans... So for them to win last night, the fact they called us, yeah, it's Premier League team, you're Premier League in your 
fucked it up chance what they did. And football's never straight forward. So let's put this aside. We haven't lost. We're unbeaten. Heads on. It'll all be forgotten out if and it will mean nothing if we want to it'll be a good point if we win and follow it up on Saturday by beating Dagenham. Yeah, a bit of sloppiness in the defence, but the world wasn't built on a day. These players are athletes, the human. We are National League. They're not EFL's Premier League sometimes as people like to think we are. And easily the game could have been lost in the first half as well as won. So our results have been split across two nights. Solio Moors beat Woking 2-1 to keep up their good run of form. Worldstorm beat Braintree 3-2 and yes, Alex Reed did get on the score sheet. Out of shot was goalless to own to South End. Ocean won Hartlepool 1. Fouled got themselves a much needed win away at Boston 2-1. Gates said got back to winning ways beating Sutton United 1-0 away. Dagenham drew 2-2 against Eastley, conceding a very late equaliser. Forest Green remained top of the league with a 3-1 win against Ebsleet. All the made and Edwin News 2-2. Rochdale got back to winning ways with a hard-fought derby win against Halifax. Tamworth and Yeovil was goalless. And York inflicted a successive defeat for Barnet, beating them 3-1. So as the table stands... Forest Green at top, one point clear is second place York. Barnet in third, three points behind Forest Green, two points behind York. They're on level goals with Gateshead. Richdale up to fifth, level on points with us, but with a better goal difference, we're sixth. Solly up to seventh. Halifax down to eighth, Yeovil ninth, East for tenth, Dagenham eleventh, Tamworth twelfth. The bottom four is Edsleep rock bottom with six, Boston on nine. Worldstone on 11, Braintree on 21st with 13 and filed up to 20th on 15. Last night's opponents made another 16 above, 16 points on 18th with 16 points above Woking. So again, it's pretty tight at the top and the bottom. The bottom two seem to be starting to cut themselves adrift. And that concludes this story of the Blues. Thank you everyone for watching. Dagging them at home on Saturday. Tramay tickets do go on sale on Thursday. 2,100 have been allocated. So I'd get them quick because I do think we'll sell out. But we've got a league game before then, a big one. So I'm Tommy Olden. See you on the terraces. Oh, cheers to everyone who spoke to me tonight in um, made a chat to the pub. We're in the maid, maid said in the Yank from South Carolina who people gave my name so she decided to sing a song to. Cheers. Safe trip back to Frankfurt for Cornelius J, who's been over the last two games. I always love after mates from Frankfurt. Come on, Oldham. Oh, I'm gone. Oh, beyond the uh, lad from Norway. Come on, Oldham.